I want to introduce you to two ancient evils very alive and well today. These ancient evils today aren't really viewed as evil. It's viewed as good. But there's a difference between what people may view as good and what God defines as good. God says that he's good. But just because we think something is good doesn't mean it's God. And this is where discernment comes in. So today, I want to show you uh, how to discern this thing that the world thinks is good, but God really says is evil. In Genesis chapter 3, verse 5, the snake says to Eve, For God knows that in the day you eat from it, this fruit, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God. You will be what? Like God, knowing good and evil. This was the temptation to be equal to God. This whole drive to be equal to God in the knowledge of good and evil became the temptation. And the Bible says that Eve saw this fruit and saw that it was desirable to the eye. It tempted her. She participated. Then Adam participated. And immediately they saw their nakedness and they were shamed. God confronted them. And when he confronted them, the first thing they did was they started blaming others. Adam said, God, it's you. It's that woman you gave me. She made me eat this. And then God turns to Eve and Eve says, it's that snake. It's not me. And so we see the first two responses after men, after man fell into sin was shame and blame. And we have to allow God to undo that in our nature. That we will own the responsibility for doing what is right before God always. But what was happening in Eve's heart? What was that ancient sin that started growing in her heart? Well, there were really two. Two ancient sins, and we see it very clearly today. Number one is covetousness, and number two is envy. Covetousness is to have an unhealthy desire for what belongs to another person. In the West, it's almost normal to be covetous. It's this whole thing about living up to the Joneses. It's when you look over the fence to your neighbor's car and you want what they have. You see the house and you want what they have. You covet in your heart for what belongs to another. You're okay with them having it, but you're very, very unhappy that you don't have it. The haves and the have-nots. The second ancient sin is envy. Now, envy is a little bit different than covetousness. Envy is when... Um, you come, in the, come to the knowledge of another person's success in an area where you don't have success. Or you see their achievements when you yourself haven't achieved in the same way. And now you, be, you become resentful towards that person. When I envy another person, it's when I become resentful towards that person for their success and for their achievement. And I will work very hard to be equal in success to be just as successful as them, or to have achieved similar to what they've achieved. And if I cannot get to where they are at, then I will resent them to the point where I want to see them fail. I don't want them to have what they've got unless I can too have it. I don't want them to achieve what they've achieved unless I too can achieve that. And if I cannot achieve that, then I want them to lose it all. That's envy. These are the two ancient sins that's very alive and well in our culture today. And I really want to encourage you, child of God, family of God, allow God to search your heart. And when other people see it as good, you don't see it as good. Why? Because we don't go according to what other people see. We go according to what God demands. In 2 Corinthians 10 verse 12, the apostle Paul says, but they are comparing themselves one with another. They compare themselves one with another, for they are without understanding. Allow God to show you if there's envy, any envy or covetousness in your heart. And the way to deal with it is not to achieve as others do or to have what others have. No, it's to repent from the sin in our hearts. Let's be faithful with the life God has given us.
Hi there, thank you for joining. Make sure that you like and follow us on Facebook, and if you're joining by YouTube, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can also click the bell so that you'll be sure to be notified when Jacques puts out new teachings. God bless you.